Hey y'all, it's Pete, and I'm out here in my backyard hammock lab. Today, I'm gonna talk about my underquilt. Okay, today I'm gonna talk about one of the more technical aspects of hammock camping, and that'll make for a nerdy video. I'm sorry, but I'll keep it short, and hopefully you'll get something out of this. So here it is, my Costco down throw that I modded into an underquilt. And today I'll talk to you about some of the features that I put on this, how I made it, and I'll tell you a little bit about how it's performed for me so far. So it has a shock cord that runs all the way around. It's got a secondary suspension with shock cord prussic to the main line that helps uh, lift the uh, under quilt up. I sewed grow grain around the perimeter, all four sides. It weighs 500 grams or 17 and a half ounces. The final length was 68 inches with a width of 45 inches. Okay, so this is just an S beaner to attach the under quilt suspension to my hammock suspension. So here's the secondary suspension. And when I get in the hammock, this part actually goes tight and helps lift up the under quilt. Then as you can see here, that's the grow grain channel. Okay, so what I have here is a double black diamond down throw from Costco. They cost about $20. And uh, when you buy them, they are 60 inches by 70 inches. As you can see there, uh, it's sewn through into a square grid pattern. So what I did was I seam ripped along the long side, um, all the channels out. At the top of each square, I snipped the seam and then at the bottom, I snipped the seam. And then I was able to just come in the middle after I figured out which side was the proper side to do this on and just pull the whole thread out. And that allowed me to rip out all the long sided seams. So it took me about an hour to rip out all the seams um, to form these channels. Okay, if you look closely, you can actually see the stitch holes. What I did is I took, um, I took a couple of tennis balls and I threw the, the under quilt in the, the dryer with the tennis balls on low for like 20 minutes and that um, helped the stitch holes close up. Once I got all my seams ripped then I just took the quilt and I shook it so that all the down would drift down to the bottom and then I uh, took my sewing machine and I simply sewed a seam all the way down the length of the quilt at 45 inches of width uh, so that would give me the width that I wanted and then I um, finished it off by adding the grow grain channel. I did some reading about the differences between horizontal and vertical channels. Um, horizontal, I guess, meaning running underneath your body like a U, whereas vertical channels, uh, as I'm referring to it, running the length of your body. Um, and uh, that's something that you'll have to look into, too, if you want to do a project like this. I did the horizontal channels, though, uh, because I like the idea of the down falling in underneath my body and settling there, um, which may leave me a little bit colder on the sides, but um, I like the idea of having a nice pocket of down at the very bottom of the under quilt. Okay, the other thing that I'd recommend doing is when you go to do your grow grain channels, form your channel by folding the grow grain over, sewing that together, and then sewing the channel onto your quilt. I found that to be a lot easier. And then the loops for the secondary suspension, I just put some ugly bar tacks on there, and that seems to hold up fine. It's got a bow line uh, as the knot for this end of the shock cord, and then, as I mentioned before, a prussic, which allows this to, uh, to slide and be adjustable. How does this under quilt perform? Right now, it's about 55 degrees in my backyard, and I'm toasty comfy. If you saw my Castle Rock overnight video, I uh, used this under quilt down to about 40 degrees. I wouldn't say I was cold, but I wouldn't say that I was warm. So low 40 is definitely pushing the capabilities of this thing. I'd say mm, high 40s maybe, uh, and definitely like the 50s I think would be a great uh, range for this, uh, this under quilt. But overall, I'm pretty happy. So it's a great starter under quilt. I spent about $30 on this project and uh, I'm looking forward to using it some more. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. We'll be seeing you.